Hi, and welcome to the So Many Things YouTube channel. I'm Tim, your host. Here, you get to sew with the boys, quilt with the boys, embroider with the boys, and of course, mostly, have some fun, and you might learn something along the way. Stay tuned! Welcome to another Juki video. This time we're going to be learning to thread our Juki TL series machines. They all thread the same way no matter which model you have, so it's pretty simple once you understand the basics. First things first, we want to make sure that our needle and our presser foot are both in the up position. As you can see here, my needle is down and my presser foot are down. They need to be brought to the upper position. To raise my needle properly, I should reach over and use my needle up, needle down button. So I'm going to touch the button and you can see my needle is now stopped in the up position. But my presser foot is still down, so I need to reach behind and raise my presser foot. There's two reasons why we want those two items in our up position. Our presser foot being in the up position opens our tension disc. This allows our thread to drop into the proper position when we're threading it. The needle threader needs to have the needle in the highest position. If we allow the machine to choose the stop position for us, the machine will always stop the needle in the proper position to take advantage of threading the rest of the machine and using the needle threader. So let's get on with threading. We're going to put our spool on. As you can see I'm using a comb thread again so I don't have to worry about a spool cap. Up through the wire guide on the top and down to the front of the machine. Here you'll see a flat plate that has three holes in it. I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to travel down through the first hole. That's the hole closest to the right side of the machine. That's this way as I'm pointing. I'm going to come up and back down through the middle hole and I'm going to repeat this process for the last hole. So now I've wrapped the bar twice by going through the three holes. I'm going to come to the left side of the machine on top of this other tensioner. This other tensioner is really simple to set. You want the plastic to be flush with the metal post in the middle. Now I'm going to bring the thread to the right side of my tension system here. That's the one with the numbers on it. I'm going to just sweep back up and grab the check spring. There's a little check spring right here. If I hold the thread and pull down on it, you'll see it move in the video for us. See it's moving down? That's our check spring. Very important that we capture that spring as we're threading. Now I'm coming underneath the bar and through the first guide going up. I want to make sure that my thread captures inside the guide for me. That way my thread's not going to be flailing later on. I'm going to sweep up and around my take up. My take up lever here is now holding my thread and I can continue down the other side once again into that guide. Now I have another guide down here at the bottom of the painted section of the machine. I'm going to have to kind of pull it in and pull it over so that it moves around into the little hole that's there. It's got a little metal tab so you really got to tug on it to the left a little bit. The next stop is right at our needle. There's a little wire guide that pokes out to the left here. You're going to bring the thread behind that wire guide so it grabs into the loop. Now I'm going to take advantage of using my needle threader, but to make it easier I'm going to reach behind and lower my presser foot. I can do this because I've already passed the thread through everything else that needs to be open with that foot being up until this point. At this point I can take advantage of having this little extra bit of space to use. I'm going to press my needle threader down. Make sure it presses all the way down and pivots. So on the side view you'll see that it pivots to the side. I'm going to move the thread out of the way here. You can see how it pivots to the side here. That is actually bringing the stylus from the back of the needle to the front of the needle for us to take advantage of the threading. Now I can't just put my thread back in because it requires to grab some of the thread as it comes down. As you can see in the video on the side view here, this thread is coming down on the front and coming back up over to this metal thread guide. Now I can take my thread and pass it from the back side of that guide, letting it sweep up into the eye of the needle. And on the front, I'm actually taking the thread and aiming it towards this little plastic U-piece right here. Then I can let go of it and you can see I've got a nice loop brought through the eye of my needle for me. That's how easy it is to use the needle threader. You know what? Let me show you that one again. I'm not going to talk through it. I'm just going to show you how it, how it operates here so that you'll understand exactly what it's supposed to do for you and how easy it really is. See, there's my loop. Now all I need to do is lift my foot, put my thread under, put my fabric under, and I'm ready to sew. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.